In October 2020, pro skater Aaron Jaws Hamaki posted a video where he played classic NES Tetris while simultaneously kick-flipping his skateboard every time he scored a Tetris. He was able to get 16 Tetris line clears, all while kick-flipping for each Tetris, and while staying on his board for the entire run. I'm going to do something similar, except I can't skateboard, which is why I have one of these. This is a ripstick, and for whatever reason, as a kid, I couldn't ride a skateboard, but the ripstick was able to click with me. I have my board, now for the challenge. Instead of playing classic NES Tetris like Jaws did in his video, I'm going to try and win a game of Tetris 99 while riding on my ripstick the entire time. Tetris 99 is a version of Tetris where 99 players fight it out at once to be the last one standing. Your screen is in the middle, and every other square on screen is another real player. When other players clear lines, you get sent garbage lines, and vice versa. So the goal is to get first place all while riding my ripstick the entire time. If at any point during a game I fall off my board, I need to restart. And of course, if I get knocked out by anyone else, I gotta restart. So I set up my switch in my doorway like a professional and gave him my first try. All right, three, two, one, go. And it went better than I expected. During my first attempt, I felt confident that I could play and balance at the same time. But right as I got into the top 50, I fell off my board and the run was over. Ah, oh. dang it. I got top 50. Not bad. <sighs> All right, let's try again. I don't want to go over every attempt in detail, so here are some of the quick highlights on how things all went down. Early on, I had a small recording issue, and this caused the screen I was playing on to go black. <gasps> oh no. Is there a quick try and plug in the cords? My wife was quick to fix it for me while I was playing, and even though I was still alive by the end of it, the damage was done and the run soon ended. Oh, yeah. Another interesting thing to note was this spot on the ground. I didn't notice it for the first few times that it caught my board, but eventually I realized that it was causing consistent problems for me. There was a large crack in the ground that, as I rolled over it more and more, began to tear up the concrete and make it even more of a hazard. After losing a few runs to this spot, I swept it up and tried to be as conscious as possible about avoiding the large holes and the crack. Kind of tearing up my front porch, which is a problem, but you know, sacrifices must be made. I had a wide variety of attempts, ranging from genuinely good rounds to my worst try of them all, a game that lasted about four seconds. <laughs> Nobody's perfect, right? The last thing to note, because of how long I was out on my front porch doing this, I was actually able to meet my neighbor, who seems like a nice guy. Hey, you can ride one of those. Yeah. Thanks for saying hi, Daniel. I had been playing for about two hours, I was getting tired, and it was beginning to get dark, so I needed to hurry if I didn't want to have to set this all up again tomorrow to try again. My best run so far was third place. I knew I was close, I just needed to close the gap. This close. I know I can do it.
Yes! I got it! I'm so tired. I had done it. I am the first person to win a game of Tetris 99 while staying on a ripstick the entire time. Not that it was really a race, but it feels cool to be the first at something. In total, it took me 22 attempts, over two hours of riding my board, and a ton of spinning in a circle to complete this challenge. Because I'm a crazy person, I took the time to count each time I passed by my front door, and I had circled my porch 670 times, give or take. And surprisingly, I didn't feel that dizzy afterwards. If you want to watch the successful run in its entirety, that's its own separate video. Thanks for watching!